Retired Raiders linebacker, talking Raiders. Preview week four against the Browns at home, Allegiant Stadium. We get our redemption this week. I'm calling it. I think there's going to be a resurrection in the mindset that we came out with last week. We're going to officially change their name to the turds or the poops or the sharts because we're going to flush them back to Cleveland by the time we're done here. And we're going to run them ragged and not leave them any toilet paper. They're going to have to walk back to, uh, to Cleveland with poo butts. All right, so let's get into it. Rough loss last week. We bounce back this week. It's all between the ears. Now, Max Crosby said on his podcast, The Rush Pod, which Raider Nation, go follow The Rush Pod. It's a great podcast. Um, they're killing it, and they're going to continue to show them love and subscribe if you don't already. But he had said, you know, look, we didn't come out with the right mindset. We came out with this mindset that oh, it's going to be an easy win. No NFL wins are easy. And especially if you have that mindset that you can be in cruise control, and especially in somebody else's house, I would have thought that they would have come with, you got to give yourself an edge of some sort. You have to say, oh, they benched Bryce Young. Andy Dalton, he might just be the perfect guy for this offense. And guess what? He certainly played like it. One person can change an entire situation because maybe it's just that Andy Dalton fits into that system really well, which also tells me that, man, they should have done that from the start and, and let the young buck learn under him for a year or two and put him in a much better situation than, hey, we're going to bench you year two because we just run through quarterbacks like it's no problem, uh, even though we bet the house to get the guy. Unfortunately, we didn't come out to play, and so it's hard to get a good gauge whether it was us or Dalton or a little bit of both. But there's so much between the ears, guys. you got to come out with the mindset to play. And I think we're going to do that. I, I, there's no way in hell that Antonio Pierce and Max Crosby don't sync up with this team and say, hey, man, get on the bus or get off. I think there's going to be a resurrection in the mindset after what Antonio Pierce had said. Hey, people made business decisions and we're going to do the same. It's kind of a threat. It's like, hey, man, I can only imagine what that team meeting is going to be like. Um, there's no way they're not syncing up on that. And some people even even are saying, oh, Max got that high ankle sprain. He might miss the first game of his career. No way in hell does Max Crosby miss this game when he played last week more injured. Um, he's way too much of a dog. He's got way too good of a mindset. He wants it way too badly, and I know he's going to want vengeance. So if he's out there suiting up, he's going to get everybody up. And let's be honest, he's got the biggest influence on that team of anybody he is not only one of the most talented guys in the nfl but he wants it way more than anybody else he hustles way harder he freaking goes for broke and shoots for the fences every damn time i love that about max and um and i think he's going to help it get everybody synced up this week um if he's off the field you know that's going to be a little bit harder he's not even suiting up and yet he's in the middle of the you know crowd and trying to hype everybody up it doesn't hit as hard i think max knows that and i think he's certainly going to play and if it's hard, you know, I, I would never tell him or anybody else to take a Toradol shot because then you like wouldn't feel your ankle at all. And it was like would be kind of like not even a problem. So don't do that. But I think we're coming back hard. And on that note of Max and that defensive line, the Browns allowed eight sacks last week to the New York Giants. And a big part of that must be, um, what's the dude? I think Jed Wills, their starting left tackle, left that game early. Hopefully he's still out next next week because I'm sure that had a big piece to do with them giving up those eight sacks. But if the New York Giants can get eight sacks against the Browns, there's no way we don't get at least half that. I'm calling four sacks plus this week because we're going to be coming out hot and we got the guys to do it. One of the things I did like from last week is that even though Devontae Adams and Bowers kind of had quieter games, 40 yards each roughly, uh, we got to see what we wanted to see out of Trey Tucker, which was him picking it up a little bit. Seven catches for 96 yards, nine targets. Uh, he had a touchdown, and then Jacoby Myers had seven for 62 and a touchdown. You, you want to see that. Okay, if, if our stars can't have the biggest game of their careers or they have a dip week, you want to see that the other guys will pick it up and we have other threats that are highly capable. Um, I'm excited to see more and more out of them weekly. Deshaun Watson did play better this week. He hasn't had a great start to the season, but last week he at least threw two touchdowns, both to Amari Cooper, might I say. Uh, no, no interceptions. He aired it out 37 times, and I hope he does again this week because that gives our defensive line more opportunities to get home like the Giants did eight times against him. On paper, the Browns are really good. They've got the great pass rush and Miles Garrett. They have two really good corners, but last week those guys 
kind of let Daniel Jones go off a little bit. If I'm, I mean, for Daniel Jones, he threw two touchdowns to Malik Neighbors, no interceptions, 200 plus yards, uh, and they only sacked him twice. And so I'm feeling optimistic, but you have to also know it's between the ears. They're probably going to be coming back this week wanting to get, you know, some vengeance for how they played last week. Um, you got to always come to play. This is my biased preview. The Raiders win. I'm not giving scores because I don't like doing that. I don't remember a single score in any of my games of my entire career. Uh, I'm not good with numbers. I don't give a damn about that. I give a damn about mindsets. I know that the Raiders are going to up their game this week. They're going to come out to play uh, because you're basically faced with a decision. Not only publicly does Antonio Pierce say, we're going to make some business decisions too. You can only imagine that they're talking about it privately. So you're basically getting gut checked. And you can make one of two decisions, turn down or turn up. Raiders turn up this week. Raider Nation, let's go.